Hello boys and girls, it's only here again. I have developed some new updates to the camera array tool and now I want to show you its new features. Previously the camera array tool was only able to produce a set of images that we could then use in post for the Gaussian splatting training. But it was just image data and in order to be able to train the Gaussian model the images had to be produced through the so-called structure from motion work phase. This took time and it did not necessarily succeed in producing a functional end result. Depending on what kind of a synthetic model we were creating, the call map method used by Postat is not always able to successfully calculate the point cloud and camera positions from such images. But since we already have this data in Blender, we can now generate information about the position of the cameras according to the call map method and also create point cloud from the 3D object. So let's see how we can do this. Here I have a 3D model of a modern electric car. I have created icosphere object around it from which I have then generated a camera array around the car using the camera array tool. When the camera setup is in place and the cameras are shooting the car every angle, the rendering of images can be started. I first specify the folder where the images will be saved and then start rendering. When I look at the folder in the file browser, I can see how ready BNG images are rendered and dropping in there one by one. And now that all the images are ready, we can start creating the call map data. I can now find the call map exporter features by expanding the menu in camera array tool panel here. The first thing here is the merge object button. The use of this is completely optional and depends on what kind of object you have rendered the images. If your model consists of several objects, they must be merged in the one object so that the entire point cloud model can be created from it. This car has quite a large number of parts and pretty much every of them contains also modifier functions. When I shift select all these parts from this hierarchy list and press the merge object button, Function starts to merge all the selected parts together. It may take a while, but eventually this will produce a new object, which is named Merged Point 3D Mesh. We can later use this to create a point cloud, but for now let's leave it in here and continue to the next step. In order to create standard call map data, we need to generate these three TXT files. When I press this generate cameras.txt button and look in the same directory where the images were rendered, I can notice that a text file called cameras.txt has now appeared there. Great, now let's do the same thing for the image.txt file. And we can see that it has now also appeared in the same directory. And finally, the point cloud data can be generated next. To create this, we first need to select the merged object to which we connected all the parts of this electric car model. When it is selected from the hierarchy list, we can press the generate points 3D TXT button. And again, when we look in the image folder, we see that this third TXT file has been saved there. If you want, you can check inside what is saved in these TXT files. In general, it doesn't say much, but there are a lot of numbers about coordinates, camera angles, focal lengths, and 3D information that are used to determine the location of the cameras and the point cloud to represent the data. So now that we have all this data in one folder, the next thing we can do is launch PostSat and simply drag this folder in there. PostSat immediately understands that the folder contains important information 
And for example, the camera pose parameters is automatically in the import position. So we can start training by pressing the import button here. At the beginning of the training process, we will notice that the elements which we imported are in slightly strange position. This is because Blender's and PostShot axis coordinates are slightly different, and in PostShot the green y-axis is the one that points up. The layout can be corrected when we go to the Edit tab and look for the Align Up Vector button there. This will turn the model to the right position, and it will be more comfortable for us to watch the Gaussian training progress. At this point, I recommend that you turn off the visibility of the cameras and the point cloud. I think this is the coolest part. It's great to watch how the training starts and the Gaussians appear out of nowhere and eventually form a 3D model of a car. So, this is it. Through this method, you can now generate call map data in correct format via the camera array tool and train synthetic Gaussian spanning model in postcard. And because we have accurate information about location of the cameras and the point cloud, we can completely skip the tricky structure for motion step and move directly to the Gaussian training. This new update makes all these faster, more accurate and a lot more fun. The camera array tool is available in my Gumroad online store. You can get it there and if you already have it, you'll get this update for free. You just use the same link you got when you bought this add-on. I hope you have a lot of fun with this and that you manage to produce nice synthetic models in Gaussian spatting format. Thanks for watching.